Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Bailey and I'm in my office again. Today we are going to be working on our yakety yaks sound. Yakety yaks, yakety yaks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do that with me please? Yakety yaks, yakety yaks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. We're going to listen for the beginning sound of the words that I'm going to say. If you hear the y sound, give me a thumbs up. If you hear a different sound at the beginning, give me a thumbs down. All right, ready? Let's exercise our thumbs again. Up, out, up, down, out, up, 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 down, up, down, down, up. I think our thumbs are ready. My thumbs look ready, don't they? Yeah. Okay, here we go. So listen for that y sound at the beginning. Here we go. Yellow. Say it after me. Yellow. Good. Yes, I hear y, the yakety yak sound. Winter. Say it. No, I hear w, not y. Good. Yesterday. Good, I hear y. Vine. No, I hear v. I hear vinny vacuum there. Not yakety yaks. And here's our last word, yard. Yes, I hear y. Good job of listening for the yakety yak sound. It's time for us to blend sounds together to make words with our yakety yak sound. Yakety yaks, yakety yaks, y y y. Make that sound with me. Yakety yaks, yakety yaks, y y y. All of our words are going to have that yakety yaks sound at the beginning. So here is how we spell that sound with a capital Y or a lowercase y. Let's do our first word line. Here's our first word, y, a, yak, yak. Good. A yak is a shaggy haired wild ox. It has curved horns. Let's do the next one. Y, a, yes, yes. Y, e, Yip, yip. A yip is a sharp bark, like the ones a puppy makes. And here's our last word in that line. Y, e, yell, yell. Notice how the double L or the two Ls just make one O sound. Read them after I read them. Yak, yes, yip. Yell. Good. We're just going to go ahead and go to our next word line. Y. A. Yam. Yam. A yam is a vegetable that is shaped like a potato, but it has the orange color inside of it. I bet a lot of you have yams at Thanksgiving time. I love yams. Here's the next one. Y, e, yet, yet, good. Y, e, yen, yen. A yen is a Japanese coin. That is when we use that word as a noun or a thing. When we use that word as a verb or a doing word, it means to crave something or really want it really badly. You could say, I yen for an ice cream cone. That means you want one really badly. And here's our last word, y, e, yelp, yelp. A yelp is like a yip. It's a quick, sharp cry, often by a dog. Okay, let's read all of them. Yam, yet, yen, yelp. Good job. We have two sentences today, but they're not going to be mystery sentences. We're going to do something different with each sentence. Here is the first sentence. 
the yak has fur and horns. Read it with me. The yak has fur and horns. Can you think of an adjective that you could use in front of the word fur? That would mean a describing word that tells something about the fur. The fur is the noun there and the adjective would describe it. How would you describe fur? A, a yak's fur. Tell someone that's there with you a word that you could put in front of the word fur. How about shaggy, shaggy fur? Would that work? Yes, yeah, shaggy would be a good adjective there. How about long fur? That would work. How about thick fur? Thick would be a good adjective there. I have a feeling you thought of some even better ones than that. How about an adjective that could go in front of the word horns? Can you tell someone what adjective you would put in front of the word horns? How about curved horns? Huge horns, sharp horns. Those are all good adjectives that would describe the noun horns. Good, here is our second sentence. We're going to do something different with that. The girl asked Are we there yet? She's asking a question, are we there yet? So I had to put a question mark instead of a period. Read with me. The girl asked, are we there yet? Do you know what these little curved double curved lines are here and here. Do you know what they're called? Yes, they're called quotation marks. Do you know what they mean? Yes, they tell us that someone is saying something. Here the girl is saying the words that are inside the quotation marks. These words. Are we there yet? Those are the words she asked, are we there yet? And the quotation marks show us that these are the words she said. Good, let's read it again. The girl asked, are we there yet? Great job of blending sounds together to make words, thinking about adjectives and remembering about quotation marks. Good job, readers. Word workers, it's Mrs. Opper. Let's get working on our letter Y paper. Here we go. I'm writing my name. Oh, and I noticed something I do not love. This Y is curvy, it is not pointy foo foo. I'm fixing that. Oh, so much better. This one too, oh good gracious gravy. Sometimes different fonts, like fancy fonts or types of printing don't look exactly the way we print in kindergarten. That's okay, we just fix them right up. All right, here we go. Capital Y for yakety yaks, yakety yaks, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go little line, lift, little line, and then another little line down. So look at the difference. Capital W has three lines, one, two, three. Lowercase w only has two. Little line lift, big diagonal down. It's a hanger downer. So three lines, bump the line. Two lines, hanger downer. Does that make sense? Oh, good. Okay, you might have to help your grown up. <laughs> Just kidding. Here we go. Little line to the middle, lift. Little line to the middle then line down to the bottom. Little line, 
lift, big line, it's a hanger downer. Ooh, these are kind of hard for me. I have to slow down a bit so I can really focus. If you need help on this line, you could ask your grown up because these are tricky to highlight right a few for you with yellow or a light color like this, just to help you get the feel. And then you can use your pencil to trace over. That might help you because this is a tricky letter, even for me, now I'm a grown up. All right, here we go. Little line, lift, hanging down below. Oh, we're doing great. Okay, bump, last one. Little line, lift, big line down, hanging below. It's a hanger downer. Beautiful, oh, we did it. Okay, that was a challenge. Is Y a consonant or a vowel? Tell me, ready, go. Oh yeah, it's a consonant. Check, check. Let's do our letter search. On your mark, get set, go. Lower case, ooh, that is a funny looking one. Lower case, capital, capital. Wow, I'm getting a lot faster, how about you? Oh, you're so efficient. Show me how many Y's you found. Yep, me too. <laughs> Let's get started on our syllabication job. Oh, this is a fun toy, and it has two letter Y's in it. What do we think? Yo, 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 yo. Good, too. That could be any color, really, or have any design. I'll do a light blue. I just think that's pretty. Yo, yo. Okay. Oh, you can use this for crafts, for knitting, for crocheting. Cats like to play with it. <laughs> Good job. Let's clap it. Yarn, yarn. One clap. That has an art control bell. Definitely your choice color. It could even be rainbow. Ooh la la and a foo foo foo. Oh, this is one of Landon's favorite snacks. Ready? Yogurt, yogurt. I'll go pink because I feel like it's strawberry flavored. Oh, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. That was a two clap word or a two syllable word. Okay. Ooh, now. We're going to think of three ideas that start with yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thought of one. Uh, I don't know how well I can draw it. Okay, it's, well, it's not a cave. <laughs> it's supposed to be a breakfast food. You can scramble them. Yep, but it's a certain part. Yes, I have to label it just because I don't know how great that drawing was. It's yolk, like the yolk of an egg. Yeah. Yolk. That just gave me a good idea. You could do a color word here that starts with yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good thinking. All right, word workers, it's time to finish up your Y paper. I'll see you next time. Bye.